All right, guys, let's take a few minutes to talk about my CZ. That's Siska Zbrojovka from the, a company from the Czech Republic, CZ Scorpion. Uh, started out its life as a pistol, and it is now a registered short barrel rifle, meaning it has a barrel less than 16 inches long and has a stock. So this has been very much customized from how I first found it. So let's talk a little bit about that. Before, before I do that, I want to just take maybe about 30 seconds to talk about uh, this, the reason I have this, and kind of what it took to get this as a short barreled rifle. So <clears throat> the reason I got this is because a long time ago, I had an experience where I woke up in the middle of the night, my dog was barking like crazy, went to go check things out in the house, and I had a pistol, and my hand was just shaking like crazy. So ever since then, I wanted more points of contact, and I also still wanted something compact because I have a lot of weird corners in my house that I live in right now. So that's why I ended up with this, even though it took a long time to get. But this took me a year, a month, and a day to wait for the paperwork um, to finish so that I could get this gun. And you have to ask yourself, um, what are American gun laws, what, what's the state of American gun laws such that I have to wait one year, one month, and a day for this gun, and the very same day I could get this gun. This is a Glock 22, it's in 40 Smith & Wesson, so let me show you. The CZ shoots this bullet here, that's a 9mm, and this Glock 22 shoots a 40 Smith & Wesson. And even if you're not familiar with firearms, you can clearly see that the 40 Smith & Wesson is a larger bullet. It does have more uh, ballistic energy than the 9mm. So technically, when I have this Glock 40 and put in this 30 round magazine, there is more firepower here that I could get in a single day and much more easily concealed, right? Than this CZ Scorpion with its 30 round magazine there. Now I actually like to use, these are um, Magpul P mags and they hold 35 rounds. I like to use these mostly because it cha does change the look a little bit, right? Comes down a little bit further, gets a little bit more banana shape, a little bit more like the AK kind of uh, profile, just a little bit, not, not really that much. But I think it adds a little bit to it. I also like that it's a black magazine. Um, I just like it. It's all black instead of this. These are actually kind of a smoke color. This is a little bit darker smoke color just because I shoot this suppressed a lot and it gets these magazines pretty dirty. But it started out its life. The only things that it has that are original on this are the receiver, obviously. Um, the, let's see, the magazine release. And what else? Oh, okay, the, uh, the bolt release. And I think that's just about it. <laughs> So what did I start adding? Well, I had to wait until I had my tax stamp before I could make any alterations to it. But I started out by getting a stock kit, which came out only with the stock, but some other parts, I forget which ones were changed out on it actually. But to go back to the, just how strange and unusual American gun laws are, um, because this is a short barreled rifle, I also have to follow what's called 922R, meaning that no more than, or excuse me, I have to have at least 13 uh, American-made parts, and not any parts, but on a certain special list. 13, at least 13 American-made parts on this, or it's a felony to have. So again, I could go into the history of that, but I don't have time in this video. Uh, just more ridiculousness about it, but it started out with the stock, which is adjustable. Um, this is the official CZ Scorpion stock. This is not like a airsoft one or, or a, I'm not sure who else makes them, but this is the official CZ one. 
and it has three positions that you can lock it into. It also folds. And also let me show you that this is unloaded. Nothing in the chamber there. In safe direction. And nothing in the magazine there. So um, let's see, what was I talking about here? So, oh, the, uh, the stock. So the stock uh, does fold and it's got a little magnet right there and stays there like that. Snaps in place. So that was one of the first things I got. Then I, um, I decided to go with a K barrel. That means Kurtz in German, which means short. Um, that's a, a pretty common phraseology for a lot of guns. When they talk about a short version, they call it the K version, going back to the Kurtz, uh, meaning short in German. So it's a four inch long barrel. It does have a tri lug on the end there, which you can't see through the handguard because it's got the suppressor on there. And this isn't a flash hider, this is an actual suppressor. I'll talk about it in a second here. But I started out by getting that K barrel, which came with a K handguard. Both of these were from HB Industries. And I also got an extended uh, charging handle right here, which is a little bit longer than your normal uh, charging handle right there. Now, <clears throat> when I had that, at the time they only had the extended charging handle with an aluminum rod in there. And since this handguard was also aluminum, it really created a whole lot of friction. And you could still manipulate it, but it was quite stiff. Thankfully, uh, HB Industries has now come out with a polymer, I think they call it the extended charging handle pro or something along those lines and it's polymer so it works much better with these aluminum handguards now this is no longer an HB Industries handguard and it's longer than the handguard I got onto it I kind of went through different iterations but uh, I ended up going with the Midwest Industries um, mid-length handguard and I do like that on there mostly I was going for a certain look on this whole thing <clears throat> and I really like how it's turned out um, originally I really wanted an mp5 and I thought it was too expensive which is kind of funny because after all the custom work I probably have put more money into this than I ever would have into an mp5 um, handguard short barrel it's got the tri lug so I do have a tri lug adapter and let's talk about this suppressor. So this is a Dead Air Wolf 9 SD. And let's see, I don't think I have the other half of it with me here. I think it's um, in another shelf here, but this suppressor does come apart. It's, it's uh, actually longer. It's probably about that long. And you can unscrew the last half of it if you want it shorter but obviously you're going to lose some of your suppression uh, capability there. I think this is technically still hearing safe. Um, I can tell you it's still, it's loud. It's not nearly as loud as regular gunshot with this on. So um, it does help, but I like to keep it in this short configuration because I think it looks better. Okay. Just wanna make sure you guys are still in focus here. All right, so then I got this. So here we have, this is a holographic sight. This is made by Osprey Global. And it, it does have um, very low parallax um, for it being a holographic sight. Holographic sights should have low parallax. And it does well. Um, I think a lot of people, well, a lot of people don't know about Osprey Global in the first place. I actually ran across them at a gun show and they were selling their holographic sights for much less than what you could get an EOTech on. And I bought it and it's worked great. Um, I went through a period where I thought it was malfunctioning and I got really close to sending it in because they do have a lifetime warranty on this. And then 
I changed the batteries and realized it was the batteries going dead, so I'm smart there. Uh, it still works great though. Never had a problem with it. And I also have these quick detach mounts, which I got from, shoot, I can't remember if this is from HP Tactical or, or excuse me, HP Industries or SB Tactical. It might be SB Tactical. But these are quick detach mounts for, I have some quick detach mounts for your sling there. And these work by just popping them in, press the button, and it locks into place real quick. You can pop it right out there. This sling is made by Magpul, and it's a single point, double point sling. Oh gosh, got backed into a corner here. Um, can't remember what sling this is, but apparently it's the MS-1 sling made by Magpul, and it works great. So let's move on to, got those covered, got the sight, stock, handguard suppressor, <laughs> the grip. This is the Paxi Pathfinder. Oh, and again, I think it's SP Tactical. Between those two companies, uh, HP Industries and SP Tactical, it's one of them. I do believe this SP Tactical grip, I do like the profile of it a little bit better than the original grip. But the bore axis um, of the grip, of the original grip, was much more shallow, I guess that would be. And so that's uh, a little bit more steep. I like it, it's a little bit more comfortable. And yeah, that's it for the grip pretty much. I'll show you the other side. And then we have the trigger. So the trigger, you'll notice, oh, left the side on, don't want to do that. The trigger um, is much better. Now, so the original trigger on the CZ Scorpions are absolutely awful. They're gritty, they're super heavy, all right, well, I'm glad I checked my camera there because my video cut out at 15 minutes. So uh, we were talking about the trigger, the binary trigger. This is made by uh, Franklin Armory. And um, the so it has a couple of different modes. So you'll notice that this is in safe. You can put it to semi-auto. And let me show you again that this is magazine um, is unloaded and there is no bullet in the chamber there. Okay, so this is on semi-automatic, so when you you can pull the trigger and then every time the bolt goes back, you fire it once. So in binary mode or full semi-automatic, there's no such thing as that, by the way, if you're not familiar with guns. It's just kind of an inside joke among the gun community. Um, this is binary mode and in binary mode, you can drop the firing trigger or firing pin when it goes back and then it'll cycle one more time and then the firing pin drops once more when you release the trigger. So um, essentially what it allows you to do is fire much faster than you would otherwise be able to with just uh, a regular trigger. And that's for fun. Um, that's a lot of fun actually. When you take it out, and especially coupled with the suppressor, it's a blast. Yeah, that's about it. It's a great gun though, uh, very reliable. I think I may have had one malfunction in there somewhere. I reload a lot of my own ammunition, and uh, sometimes I load them pretty soft. And I think, yeah, there, there had to have been one. I actually don't recall any single malfunction at all, but I'm sure there was one in there and I've probably shot this between two and three thousand rounds and it's worked great so fantastic weapon very fun every time I bring this to um, uh, shoot at the range with my family or friends this is always a favorite of most people there um, yeah it's <laughs> small old young I mean all of them have a blast shooting this. It's soft recoiling. Um, the holographic sight makes it really easy to use. The suppressor makes it so the concussion isn't nearly as loud. It's just uh, really one of my favorites. But there it is. 
Took me a long time to put together, but it's a masterpiece. Hope you enjoyed, guys. And this is Derek reminding you, you're working too hard. See you next time.